Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? No joy. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. Oh, None no. of the other students will try it, no matter Where's how Matt when you need him? ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Okay, bet. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Mm. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? I don't know. The golden snidget. Correct. The what? snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since Dude, I'm two for two. Let's go. Lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Uh, this one. Horcruxes. No. The answer was the Deathly Hallows. Oh, I should have known. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Uh, this one. The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When the <laughs> chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Uh, true. Actually, the answer was false. What? While polyjuice potion can oh, be used no. to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. I'm and I sure. won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Yeah, those are easy. Night and night turns into day. Somebody just left the building. It's a book, but it's also a bird. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As no I way. see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. A marble that's a butterfly? You know what to do. Do we? I pressed the wrong button, but it's okay. We got the spell. I made a butterfly. A marble fly. Oh, that's marvelous. All right, Professor. I gotta talk to you, apparently. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. Yeah, and I know frankly, all the spells now. Excelling in your schoolwork, Miss Oh, year. stop. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Sure of course, haven't. the guide isn't the only measure of success. 
I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank mm -hmm. you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Oh, thanks. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? I don't remember. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. Mm -hmm. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Thanks, Sergeant. Who's this? Can I drop? Man, she trash. She trash. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest. I'll explain. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. Good for you, dude. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. I agree. Can't I agree. Let doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Yep. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. What was that? I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. Uh -oh. But mother! My little She's so wizard, far away. You are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. Ooh. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. No, oh, sure, ma'am. Will do, of course. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my <laughs> oh, form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. That's incredible. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic Calm down there, Optimus Prime. It. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? 
You yes. must have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood Hollow Because I'm the main character, lady. You. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Hollow, not hide from them. My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, thank you too, dude, back there. <laughs> He's been there the whole time. What's up? Why are we here? This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. No way. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The me, they I haven't wearing, either. They appear to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. Just tell me. It seems me. I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Oh boy. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Sweet. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned, I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. Hmm. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. Oh, good. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Okay. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. Interesting. I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Agreed. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. No. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Of Try course. Not to lose your nerve just yet. Spiders. This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of Lovely. outside Oh, maybe. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Repair her. Mm, some bones. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room. No Which way. means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does cool. mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. 
I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Okay, and then... Come here, buddy. Alright, more bones. Wait. There you go. You've done it. I'm so smart. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> nice. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Hmm. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't yes. agree more. A spell that could save teach your life should be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. No way. Oh, yeah, uh, this looks difficult. Fantastic Four. There we go. All right. Fighters. Take that. Curse. Curse. Never end. Yeah, that was that was intense. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. No, 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 no dead end. Akio. No dead end. I'm sure, my friend. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and it? rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. We need the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Who's this? Is that ominous? Oh no. The blind kid. Nobody's here. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. There is no I'm other sorry, way. sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. 
You're anonymous. You gotta chill, dude. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if mm. the choice wasn't yours? You <laughs> I see all the way over there. Who am I talking to? What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium. That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. Nah. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! Can you see? Aside, ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. He's a good little blind guy. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, don't apologize. Did we do the wrong thing? No. You need the relic. I know, but not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperial on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. Hmm. Come on. We've always looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. Oh, stop being a little pussy. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. You can do. Come on, people, fight. Why are we attacking a... Come on. Yeah, crows are really helping us out. Come on. Oh, sorry, Ann.
No, no, she's gonna be pissed. Unforgivable curse from that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Dang. I feel like I made things worse, Sebastian. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did the right thing. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. I will talk to Uncle Daddy. Hello. What was he thinking? Who knows? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. What? You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Let's go in and let's see my boy Sebastian. What's up, Sebastian? Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. You he tell also him. said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions. A box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. Uh -huh. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest. And without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. Of course. I'll send you an owl. When Anything I have to learn had the forbidden curse. Didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. No, she kept I was us just waiting. At the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. <laughs> what did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I don't care At about first, your grand. She didn't know the poachers had her egg. 
so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. More than likely, too bad I made an omelette out of it. Pretty good omelette. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. <laughs> sounds in dangerous. Nest. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Mm. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make the potion. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. That's good. Good for her. Come here, Toothless. Go on, Poppy. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Oh no, there's dogs. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten, usually. There was two of them. What are you talking about? Oh, don't do it. From a distance. Yeah. Thought I could jump it. <laughs> no, I was wrong. What the what are you doing coming down here, Poppy idiot? Just because I came down here doesn't mean you have to. Oh my god, she's so stupid. Poppy is so stupid. Come on, Poppy. Come on, stupid. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance. No way. Watch your step. How oh, lucky for us. I ain't no sheep. I ain't no sheep. Oh, just rare. Quiet. What was that? Oh no. There's no penny yeah. Poppy, I don't even know where you are. I'm making a run for it, Poppy. I'm making a run for it. Ah, whoa. We're good. She is kind of slow. Welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. Nah. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, lady, chill. I got your baby. Yeah. 
Got some leech juice. Eh, I'm running. There's the nest. We're almost there. Where? Almost. Ooh, gimme, gimme. Why is every repairer? I don't know. But I'll fix it. There we go. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Hopefully. <laughs> it just picks up Poppy and just eats her. All right, where should go? Killer. Killer. Just eats it. <laughs> That was exciting. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. I Thank wanted you it. for doing this with me. I wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Yep. Should we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Horntail Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. 